Hi, Leos. If you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support, my name is Steph. I want to thank you for being here. I've created an ink blot made in your name and essence that we are going to scry for shapes and symbols that may speak to our psyche and psychic senses. We'll add on tarot and oracle in the shaman's palm configuration and where Mr. Ghost Give is here kicking. We have Ghost Tube for any audio additions that may further inspire or irritate. Overall, please do receive a release freely. I want to thank you so much for your likes, shares, Danger. and subscribes. You guys truly warm my haunted heart, and I am so grateful. And I don't take your presence and attention and awareness for granted. All right. Pitter patter, let's get at her. <laughs> Leo, here is your reveal. If you would like to start scrying for yourself, if any shapes and symbols are speaking to your psyche and psychic senses, I'm going to take a moment to open up. You're welcome to join me or fast forward utilizing the timestamps below. And I apologize if my camera lags or anything along that lines. Just trying to work it out through the whole retrograde. <sighs> Taking a nice deep breath. Closing the eyes, cleansing the palate of perception. Releasing the race in the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. In the name in honor of the Leo Collective. Leos, as always, thank you so much for being my muse, for holding space for me to share my insights and allowing me to be a guest in your aura. So a few insights that came through, uh, and I'll kind of run through them again if they step forward. Something about uh, like baseball, and this is the umpire, like safe or strike is maybe that's bowling is strike is strike also in bowling or is that just baseball i don't know I'm not a sporty person but safe or sh and or strike maybe you're out is that what they say you're you're out anyway it's not the point leo i feel like you guys have this umpire that is not is guarding i want to say that is guarding now, this could be a spirit guide, a grandparent, okay, um, that is truly holding the boundary, that's not allowing any sort of snakes in the grass to come through. And I want to acknowledge that Stay with me. through the serpent energy, that also, that doesn't imply that the serpent in regards to knowledge is cut off but it's almost like leo's i don't know what you got going on in your aura right now but because i'm seeing it like baseball in these bases uh you're doing something like you're running the bases you're uh strategizing you got a whole team with you i think that's both energetically emotionally and earthly because it's like seeing the outfielders and then pitchers anyway insert sport words and you have a whole team and they're with you not just watching you they are with you as you are moving through whatever bases subject matter love career wants wishes desires blocks boundaries insert all the words so and in lieu it's like they're it's like if i could are you scared no not at all uh, but maybe, Leo's, you might be a little scared. You might be a little nervous if scared's a strong word. But it's like, okay, you know, it's like, do, uh, do you take that base? Or was the, oh, the hit far enough? Are you going to make it? And it could be, but it's also like this rush, right? This rush of adrenaline. When you make that split decision and you follow not only your earthly instinct, but your intuition, Somehow it's like I'm playing baseball and football at the same time. Like maybe I think I'm going to get charged. Like people come at me. Again, really not my area. Offense, defense. But you're, you're, you have this whole team with you anyway is the point. And I feel like with the knowledge, it's a playbook. Yes, playbook. And the umpire protects this no access to, it's almost like if there are spies trying to get your playbook. Because it's like somebody or some things may want to play by your rules, but they want, they just want to know the rules. They don't actually want to play by your rules. Anyway, I feel like you're very, um, 
you're very aware of this in some some way shape or form because it brings me down to the teething rings where I saw down here and these teething rings and that's not to imply you know a nastiness to anyone of youthfulness and maybe it's in and of your own energy where you're feeling young or like your adult teeth are coming in if it's in, in regards to a shift of control about something or circumstances uh, but nonetheless and it's Stop almost it. like putting those those teething rings with the with the snakes so that they have something to soothe to self-soothe and maybe you have children i'm not sure uh, and and young children and that can be a painful experience as Mary. they're as they're uh, working through that hopefully you can hear the ghost tube okay nonetheless you know and it's like offering a soother or something soothing but you don't actually do anything for them you just trust that they're going through maybe some sort of growing pain to a gain right to get those adult teeth you also could be in like a teacher or a mentor or a coach situation where it just feels like you uh can contribute from your own playbook to to help others that are i don't know running bases and <laughs> pitching things and i don't know do you know what i mean some of you also might be in advertising uh, or in some way, maybe sales. Again, I don't try to be predictive, but I just try to wander the aura and see what comes through. There's also pool balls that came Electric. through. Um, what is there, like that eight ball? Um, I just heard, is that like the death ball? I'm not, again, I'm so far out of my elements here, but I have just, just enough of a snippet to reference it when it smucks me in the face. Uh, but, hmm. Okay, so it's something in, forgive me if I'm wrong, but again, I'm not trying to be right or wrong. It's, it's like the timing of when you go for the, for the, for the eight ball or the black ball. Like, is, is that like the last one or something like that? But if you, if you dunk that beforehand. Lights. I don't know. Timing, timing, timing is coming through. Timing. All right. Sorry. I also want to note that it feels as though in this whole thing, there's a time to work and then there's a time to stop. Stop playing, stop working, and truly rest like swans. Ruth. Because those, those swans are right in there and they're just ever so sweetly coasting. It's really quite lovely. All right, Leo, I'm going to flip it for another day. Oh, and I also saw in here Betty Boop, a Betty Boop, and uh, Kisses and Lips. So there might be, maybe this is also a love connection. Leo, <laughs> if you haven't already, please do consider like, sharing, and subscribing. I'm so grateful for, for your time and attention and awareness. It's fantastic. I'm going to start wandering through your cave, starting with your cave of ice. And I have the, is it the 10 of coins? What's going on with the lighting today? I am telling you. I'm, I'm just, I'm just not going to, uh, get, get all up in a knot here. We have the 10 of coins in your cave of ice. Okay. So I'm seeing your caves that will go through in, in your paranormal, uh, handshake of sorts is, oh, I just lost it. Are you going to come back? Okay. No. Are you going to come back? Interesting. Why don't you want me to speak to that? Okay, thank you. So the way I'm seeing your caves is like the bases. So going Light. through your cave of ice. Yeah, that was a very weird little thing, Leo. Do you, is that like your instinct every so often where it's like, oh, why can't I say that? And I feel like it just takes a quick moment to, to say something in it maybe a very conscious way, like a responsive way versus reaction way. In your, okay, in your cave of winds, we have here justice. Cave of hearth fires, we have the four of swords. If these mean anything to you, follow the definitions for you first, as I tend to follow the art and then maybe the words if they step forward. We're here for Leo. We have three of wands. In your cave of rivers, a feeling. Squeeze me notebook. Let's see, I'm telling you this. 
it's just it's just one of them days it's one of those weeks actually one of those weeks okay and the hangman in reverse for your cave of earth that actually feels really really well and again apologies for any of the lighting it just it just is and we'll look at your psychology dream card in a moment helen you're de thawing I, I, again i'm coming back to like this baseball or umpire thing like i don't know if you have riches the playbook how did you make your money like this is how i'm feeling like i just feel like how did you make it maybe you speak you're like a speaker person that says you know this is how i did whether it's spiritual wealth emotional health something but i feel like you're receiving a lot of money or earthly attention because of it but that also means you need to up your security to ensure that there's a justice system in place of sorts, especially in your cave of winds of thought. Like, how do I, it brings me into that like classic run now, uh, what did I say? Uh, response versus reaction. And thank you. Like on those bases, when your instinct and intuition come together and say, go for the base now, the next base. Yeah. And your cave of hearth fires is the four of swords. And this kind of makes me feel like I really want to take in the artistry of this card again. Excuse me, my ink and dirty nails. Like take that in. How beautiful is that? This is what I feel like I am protecting with my heart. And you're doing so with quite integrity. You got integrity all over the place. Because it's like being the coach again. Maybe you're being coached like a consciousness coach or. And it doesn't have to be in in front of you in the typical ways where like in the symbols or the way the stories are coming through for me. Maybe it's in your family. Maybe it's in your cubicle Stroke. at work or, you know, pick any dynamic, the way you interact with people at the grocery store, or the gas station, the way you move through traffic. Oh, that's not there. Okay. Thank you. I also feel Leo's in some way, shape or form you, for some, you are unapproachable brings me into these serpents again. You're also hatching something. There's something being hatched in your aura. Immune. Interesting that it's an immunity because I was coming into some sort of illumination or enlightenment. Give me a second. I'll come back to you in a moment. I heard that. Uh, three of Wands is in your cave of rivers, your cave of feelings. And then coming into your cave of earth, just while we're up here, is the hangman in reverse. Okay. So. I'm pulling the anchor up on something. It's, I, I Now I feel like I don't know what it's called. Oh, I feel like you guys just like zipped me out even farther out of my own comfort zone of language. And that's cool. I'll stumble around. That's no big deal. So I'm seeing like boat races, sailboat races. I don't know what they are. It doesn't even have to be a race. It's it's somewhere along the lines of like the baseball. But I'm seeing all these boats and the boats are doing some sort of course. And you're pulling up the anchor preparing for this. There's a win. There's a win. There is absolutely a guide or a guardian. Rituals. That is leading with you. Because there's like this point of, it's like I can see. From the Leo perspective, whether I'm on the water in these sailboats, maybe it's more emotionally, I'm not sure what it is, or on land playing baseball. And I can see the basis from where I've come, the risks I've taken, the rewards I've received, where I'm still going, but I have to remain very, very present. While trusting 
my teammates that are observing and knowing that the outfield and maybe it's, is it the other team that's, you know, pitching and all that kind of stuff while you're running bases? They are not my enemy. What is that? They are my cohorts that are contributing to my skill set. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense. And then the hang, hangman in the reverse. So I, it feels like, oh, that, the lighting, I'm just telling you, I'm so sorry. It's like he's getting ready to to pitch. You know what I mean? Um, I don't, again, I don't know if I'm making that up. You know, if somebody's getting ready to pitch, they might put the ball behind their back and be like, you ready? You ready? <laughs> uh, I think in some cases... You are the pitcher or you know when you're up, maybe you have a pitching skill. Again, I'm kind of coming into that sales uh, or when spirit, whatever spirit is of an element, of an energy, of a person, place or thing, an opportunity is presenting itself to you. You're prepared to, to, to knock it out of the, Early. knock it out of the park. And there's also a respect, Leo's, that when you are the pitcher for the other person, you use all your skills. What year because, is it? Uh, we're in 2024. It's like that helps them get better. You know what I mean? But it's like knowing your audience. If they were, and again, in this different state, going back to the teething ring, you might lop the ball to them. But if they're a skilled person, you don't lop the ball because that would be wasting of your time and their time. But there's some sort of respect in this. Uh, I just heard age of Aquarius. So I don't know if that means anything to you that you can you can apply to in your own way, shape or form. OK, let's add on some coffee cup. I don't want to take up too, too much of your time, Leo's. But this feels fantastic. Hopefully I didn't butcher it or I said it lovely enough. We will reverse it for another day in time to come back and visit for your sign. We have here pearl, hidden gem, luck, money. It's a, I feel like I'm an athlete getting paid a lot of money. Doesn't mean you have to be an athlete in the traditional form. Maybe you're an acad academic. Academic, uh athlete an awareness athlete we have here ship coming through groom and ship and one last but not least for leo's cave of earth acceptance and eccentric for some of you leos it's almost like i feel <clears throat> you're like the pearl pitcher is that a weird way to say that and i apologize what for heavens and hot dogs with all this lighting and stuff she going on, leave. I don't even know. You are like, I would imagine in some way, shape or form, like the secret weapon. There's a lot of money. Some people think it's just luck. You've cultivated something over years. And somebody might see the outcome of, oh, well, they hit that out of the park. That's just luck. I feel like you can, uh, what is that when they say like re redo it, but again, certain conditions need to be, need to be there. Other skill sets need to be there. Like the pitcher needs to be a certain caliber, the bat made of cer certain things. And it's not in a pickiness. I feel like it's just been formulated over years for certain conditions. And you know, those conditions, you know, them. With the hearth fires and the four of swords with Hurting. the husband, uh, marriage up here. Well, that's, there you go. Is there a hurting? Is there a hurting in a, in a marriage or relationship? Does it feel binding a little bit? Or do you feel like you're benched? Have you benched somebody or an energy? Something feels like a tug of war in this, in this respect. And if this isn't your scry story, this portion or message isn't meant for you. But thank you for holding space for others to receive theirs. Like truly, that's very wise and grateful. And it's not unnoticed. I mean, it's like that ship has sailed. 
and for some you might be in that in that relationship space where it's like that ship has sailed maybe you're not getting back together or I don't even think that was helpful I am making this whole situation worse fussing in the middle of your reading Leo and I apologize <laughs> I feel like I'm in a huddle. Leos are huddling around me and they're like, you know, it's like, again, all these sports people. <laughs> like, it's okay. We got this. We got this. <laughs> We're going to breathe, say a prayer. I love it. Thank you, Leos. And then last but not least, with your enlightened hangman, you know what you're doing. You've accepted certain eccentricities about your own self, certain eccentricities about other players. But you, it's like you can see it to work to, I want to say your advantage, but not in a way that feels malicious. This just feels like the playbook. Like the playbook. Hmm. Closing out messages for Leo. With this, I think this is called the secret language of light. I could be wrong. Oh, you know what, Leo? For heavens and hot dogs. Leo, I apologize that you were just like on the day of the eclipse. Retrograde. Bring it to that me. There's all of this stuff happening in your read. But I'm going to leave it because this is life. We can navigate these bases together. Your dream card. I'll bring up the psychology card in just a moment. Is number 17. If any of the symbols stand out to you, please follow that. Consider that. Notice. Versus worrying about what their meaning is. What I'm going to try and do is do that while I bring up the card. Oy vey, Stephanie. Oy, oy vey. Okay, so 17. Generating. The shepherd hands the weak newborn lamb to the seeker to care for. And we were talking about teething stuff as well. Caring, nurturing, and creating. Generating is the bringing forth into the world new life from source. Powerful in its effects, we are always attracted to its energy. For having broken free from the womb, we nah. seek continually to reconnect to the great lifeline for renewal and substance. Receive the power to enhance life when it comes, giving where you are invited and receiving where you must. Your task, should you choose to accept, is to both give and receive energy in equal proportion. To do one and not the other creates imbalance and need. I'm really drawn to this person getting a back massage. The, the teething, and I don't know if YouTube's going to get all uh, fussy fussy about that, and the cup of tea. So I'm just going to kind of do that. <laughs> all right. Oh, Leo, what a journey this has been. I feel like I have been a part of the emotional roller coaster of watching Team Leo play this baseball game. It's, Bedroom. I just, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's in this giving and receiving space where it's like being the coach and the mentor, the, the sales and the advertising, but also being the customer and the consumer, also being the pitcher, the back catcher, the outfield. So you have this understanding, but there's something about the, the playbook and, and the pitching of it all. Not everyone, it's, not everyone can pitch or has a skill set for that. For some of you in this relationship that is, uh, that ship has sailed and you're like going off, I feel like it could have been because there was uh, uh, imbalances in the reciprocity or proportion of that. You know, you know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like it's, you just know and that's okay. All right. The coffee cup. Holy oh, bay. I can't even, I can't even. Hot drink, they call it. Compulsions, mothering. The hot drink waits to be taken. What is need and not compulsion depends on the consciousness we bring to it. Give up compulsions and meet your needs directly. Fantastic. You know, it's like, it's like, what is my need? My need is to get to second base. I feel like I keep hearing in my head 
what I think is a term for baseball, like you, you can steal a base. And I just, I don't feel like that you're, you, you land well in there. Like that's not, uh, how you jive, but it's not illegal. You know, it's one, it's not illegal, but Leo's tend, it's like, you notice it, but something in this notebook, it's just like, I'm not judging it, but, I, but I note it. This player or this person, this opportunity has the tendency it's just like knowing those eccentricities. This person favors their right side. And it's like having a, even like a poker tell. They have a tell when they're getting ready to do a spin ball or a curve ball or in the pool cue of life with that pearl. Because even when I was talking about from the beginning, Leo's, I am so grateful if you have made it with me through this remember when i was talking at the beginning like pool it's like there's the other ball is it the white ball that starts starts it off and then all these coins your 10 of coins like is that how that works and then you would hit, hit the ball and it would, what is that called it's not i'm hearing it like yeah you, apologize you, you crack you crack I know that's not it. Break? Do you want a break? Do you want a break? And it brings me into the massage. The massage of your dream psychology card. Okay. For real this time, Leos. Remembrance. You're closing out messages. Remembrance. It's like you have the ability to remember when you were in the minor leagues. When you played. I'm just going with the analogy. Uh, baseball when you were a tot. And as you grew up. And then you minor leagues, major leagues, country leagues, Olympic leagues, I don't know, beer leagues. You remember, it's like being on all the bases, what it was like to be at those, those bases are different stages. And you recognize that in others. And when it's respected, you respond really, really well. Any, any other messages for Leo? Thank you channeling interesting that's how you communicate to these to these different opportunities it's like you can channel that portion of you for understanding compassion to get the utmost learning it's almost like if i was to be um again a sporty person athlete of some sort and then i would be ch teaching children or just different people or some, maybe somebody has interest by doing that by going back in time of sorts it helps me remember it helps it's like by channeling that inner child or channeling 20 years ago when you played played this game or started your career or got in this relationship what the intention was how you felt and you channel that You, of course, might, you might also be channeling money. I'm just going to say, you might just be channeling money. Like that's it's your goal. It's your, your win. Last but not least, we have here light being. This is like that outfield Tree. feel for me. There was another reading I did. Anyway, somebody had commented. Oh, and I feverishly can't remember while being here in the liminal angels in the outfield that's what this feels like so thank you if you are here and you <laughs> feel free to give yourself a shout out you can see that face in there i'm gonna leave it here i've already yammered on way too long leos and if you have made it to the end and we're like after feast of this i want to thank you because you guys are great the strength that you guys have the safeness you're safe creating safety offering safety i just feel good i feel good and i'm sorry if i butchered your reading but the energy is what it is and we move through it just like life we move through jose. it no way jose until next time leos thank you i'll see you again soon
Oh, oh, see, I'm hearing like I was going to say, oh, Canada, just because I'm in Canada. But I was hearing like the national anthem. Do you sing the national anthem? Or again, it's like being at a sports thing. You know, it's, it kicks off with this anthem. I kind of feel honored that I was, I got to, to be in this reading, to, to witness it. 